All right, so this is the next way we get rid of the radical. So some of these problems, what's going to happen is that 1 plus f prime of x, the power of 2, is going to become a perfect square, which will then cancel off the radical. So here's what you do when that happens. So first thing we need this to be is f prime of x. Now our y is greater than 0. It's telling us which of these two to pick. So first we divide by 36. And then we take our square root plus or minus, right? Now this one wants y is greater than 0, which means we choose the positive. So we end up with 1 over 6 square root of x squared minus 4 cubed. Now that just becomes two thir uh, 3 halves. To the 3 halves. Now we can take our derivative. So y prime equals 3 halves times 1 sixth x squared minus 4 to the 1 half times 2x. All right, so that 2, because this is chain rule, that 2 will cancel with that 2. The 3 cancels. We end up with a half. So x squared, oops, I forgot the x. Let's go back. x, x squared minus 4 to the 1 half. And so that would be our y prime. Okay, so now that we have our y prime, we now need to square it. So if we square this, we get y prime squared. Squared. So each part's going to get squared. So y prime squared would equal 1 fourth x squared. And then the square and the square root will cancel, giving us x squared minus 4. We can then distribute that. So we're still working on that. So these are just things you do. If you see it, you do it and see what happens x to the fourth minus, and then that four and the fourth would cancel, giving us just x squared. Okay, next thing to do is to add one. So I'm just going to put one plus here and put plus one there. And then we're going to take and do a square root on it. Just like that. But I want to do that square root in a second step just so that you have what we're doing here. So square root one plus y prime squared equals. And so you can see what we have here is something that looks like a perfect square. So if we factor out that fourth, because anytime we have a leading coefficient, it can make things difficult. That means we just reciprocal it to every single term inside. So a fourth of this flipped would be four. So four times that one, four times that one, four times that one. So four x squared plus four. Now we can put the square root on it, and what we have here is our nice, perfect square. So this is 1 fourth. We don't have to really worry about the first number. That's just a number, so we're going to get a square root of it. It's nice that it's a fourth because we get a half. All right, but this is x squared times x squared, right? So that's going to be our perfect square with a minus 2. So it would be foiling this whole thing out would give you this. You can even check it with completing the square. Remember, half of negative 4 is negative 2, and then negative 2 squared is 4. So that checks perfectly. Now we put our square root, and then this becomes 1 half x squared minus 2, and we're done because the square root of a square cancels. So that is now going to be the inside of our radical. So now we can just do our quick little radical. And again, it's from 2 to 3. Put the half on the outside of x squared minus 2 dx. So this is 1 third x cubed minus 2x with a half in front from 3 to 2. All right, so this would be 1 half, and then we're going to plug in the 3. So 1 third three cubed minus 2 times 3 minus... I'm going to put the, the half here as well, and then that would be 1 third, 2 cubed, minus 2 times 2. Okay, so this would become uh, 3 is uh, cubed is 81, divided by 3 is 9, 9 minus 6 is 3. And then here it would be minus 1 half, and then that will become 8 over 3 minus 4. And if we just plug all this in the calculator, we get 13 6. 
All right, now we just have to double check this on our calculator to make sure that that integral is the same as that answer. And there we go. So it is 13 6. All right, and this is a very generic one. It's really not, right? It was complicated. But um, I want to show you something that is a little bit more involved. So it's going to have a little bit more steps to it to, to give you another. Basically, it's a different way. It's a different problem with the exact same steps. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is take this problem and take its derivative. So y prime is equal to 1 half x cubed minus 1 it's not x cubed, it's x, uh, minus 1 over 2x. All right, and then we're going to take and square this. So y prime squared would just be 1 half x minus 1 over 2x squared. And so we're going to multiply this whole thing out. This is 1 over 4x squared. And then in the middle, it's going to be this one times this one times 2. So minus 2 because it's positive times Positive times a negative would be a negative, right? And we're going to get two of them. So 1 half x times 1 over 2x. And then the end we're going to get plus the other one squared. So there's our perfect square. And so you can see that that 2 will cancel that 2. That x will cancel that x. So we have some simplifying to do. So we end up with a half in the middle. So 1 fourth x squared minus 1 half plus 1 over 4x squared. All right. And then now what we're going to do is take and add 1 to it, right? So put our plus 1 over here. So that 1 and the half will work together to cancel, and we get 1 fourth x squared plus 1 half. Now it's positive, plus 1 over 4x squared. Now we're going to put a square root over this, right? So square root of 1 plus y prime squared. And so you look at it and you think, I really don't know what to do. And so that's why we're doing these perfect square ones. So your first thought is, well, why don't I check and see if it is a perfect square? So what would be the square root of 1 fourth x squared? That would be 1 half x. And what would be the square root of 1 over 4 x squared? Well, that would be 1 over 2 x. And it's obviously all positive, so plus, so the middle's plus. Now all I have to do is check, get that blinker out of the way to see if this times this doubled would be that. So if I do, and this is going to be side paper, that's it. So I'll do it in green over here. 1 half x times 1 over 2x, and then we're going to double it. So this would be cancel, 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 and we get 1 half. What's the middle term? 1 half, check. So all you have to do is really just square root that one, square root that one, multiply them together and double it to check the middle. We're foiling it out. And then we know that that is a perfect square. So now our square root and square will cancel. So the square root of 1 plus y prime squared equals 1 half x plus 1 over 2x. So again, square. if it looks like a trinomial and it's factorable, square root, square root, and then just multiply those together and double it to check to make sure it's the middle. And it is. So we're good. Now we have our integral. So we do the integral from 1 to 2 of 1, over, 1 half x plus 1 over 2x dx. So if we add 1, we're going to get 1 half times, and then this would be x squared, so 1 half, plus 1 half natural log of x. 2 and 1. So this is uh, 1 fourth x squared plus 1 half ln of x, 2 to 1. All right, so now we just have to plug in 2. And then we'll also plug in the 1. All right, now natural log of 1 we already know is 0, so that's gone. That becomes 0. So we end up with 4 over 4, which is 1, plus 1 half natural log of 2, minus, and that one's gone, so it's just 1 fourth. So this is 3 fourths plus 1 half ln of 2. And now all we have to do is plug this in the calculator. And again, we're going to plug this one in and match it to this one. 
and it checks. So this is just another technique. You do all this work. Same. You notice every single step is going to be the same. That we're going to find our y, take the derivative, square it, add 1, square root it. And then if this looks like something that's factorable, then you just check it by taking the square root of that one, square root of that one, multiplying them and doubling and see if it makes the middle. So see that works up here as well. So that would be x squared, that would be 2, and so it would be 2x squared times 2, which is 4x squared. So it also checks there. So this is using perfect squares to get rid of the radical.